Hey there, dear friends. You know, what's our um, life's goal? I've been thinking a lot recently about my mission in life. What is What am I supposed to do? And I think there's an overall uh, answer for all of us and that uh, our purpose really is to connect, to connect with the Creator. Like, if I'm thinking about a, a painting that someone made, whenever we are looking at that painting, in many ways we are connecting with the artist that made that painting. So, in similar fashion, I think, you know, us as the the, the created, the, the creatures, so to speak, um, need to connect with the painter. We need to connect with the artist. We need to connect with what made us so that we can understand uh, what our purpose is and what our, what our mission is, you know? Um, the problem is, is we can't do that. We can't allow ourselves to um, connect with him if we're always bogged down with like the day-to-day -day routine stuff, you know, all of the things that uh, come at us from one side or the other throughout the day. And we have just kind of a routine that we go through and we almost get lulled to sleep by our day-to-day, -day, hey, I have to get this done, hey, I have to get that done. Like a huge obstacle in um, connecting with the Creator on that day-to-day -day thing is all the necessities that we have that we that we put upon ourselves and all of that stuff that sucks our time it like robs us of the opportunity for any introspection any thoughts about the creator and we can't forget the creator right it's our goal today like to not forget so we have to break our routine and we have to make a self-assessment we have to find time that we can connect with our true selves. So I want you guys to think about how you could break the routine and find time for introspection. Find time to figure out who am I? What do I like? What do I not like? You know, are, are the actions that I am doing on a regular basis and the responses that I make, are they in line with what I really believe? Like, am I the same, not two-faced? Am I not, you know, one direction in my head and another direction in my actions? Um, am I not getting pulled in too many places? You know, often I think our reactions are based on our, kind of our uh, base evil inclinations. Um, this morning, I was trying to uh, uh, get out of bed, basically, and it was it was difficult to um, to wake up. I didn't want to wake up and I had some really mean um, reactions because I just didn't want to get out of bed. And um, so I'm, I'm looking back at that and I'm thinking, okay, what is the reason and who am I really? And is my action lining up with my beliefs? And uh, then I'm able to, I'm able to take that moment of, of introspection. And I want to make sure that I'm not being pulled by the inclination to sleep um, because that's you know that's like I think 99% of the world is just uh, we're, we're all in many ways we're all asleep because we're not taking that time to really think about what we're doing and we have we have such a huge pull of materialism in our world it's one of the one of the biggest things that the uh, that our base inclinations are drawn to is this stuff and our our souls are not going to be satisfied with stuff right if we are constantly filling ourselves with with stuff then we're just going to be lulled to sleep and and we won't realize the the true dire state of our souls because we're too focused on what can we get what can we eat what can, <laughs> what can we do um, to distract us from, you know, from the truth. And whenever we break that day-to-day -day cycle of indulgence and we set aside a, a goal for introspection, then we're going to receive heavenly assistance, right? It's, it's really easy for us to pursue our physical desires 
and all of that stuff it's very very strong it's a very very strong pull and it's it's like the strength of our evil inclination um, to pull us in that direction but that is what gives balance to the world because like let's say if God didn't give strength if God didn't if it wasn't so hard to um, avoid the um, you know the physical desires of food and all and sleep and all of that stuff and if we didn't so much desire to have more and more stuff if that if those desires weren't so strong then everything would just tend to service of the Creator all the time and we want to think that that's the best well, wouldn't that be amazing but the problem is is then we wouldn't have any free will and we wouldn't have the ability to make a difference because we wouldn't need to make a difference because everything was just so easy to go to the correct direction so our lives are going to be worthy because we are making those choices because we're making a choice to make a difference in this world um, our friend Yaakov is really helping me understand that according to my belief is the power of my actions and the effect of my actions and what I mean is that like if we develop a vigilance in searching out what is true and what is good and if we really think and act and speak in the power of good then we truly are making a huge difference like we have in this world that we are in we have an arena for doing good right we have the power to make huge blessings and, and a huge difference but in order for us to do that we have to realize who it is that we are we have to have a realization of ourselves in order for that power to be revealed in us so your self-analysis every day is gonna help you connect to your true beliefs it'll help you connect to your hopes to your dreams your character all that stuff so beginning that process gives you the divine assistance it'll come I'm telling you so like if you don't have daily self-introspection if you're not thinking about what did I do yesterday what did I do last week what did I spend my last year on if you don't have those um, thoughts every day and whether or not that's worthwhile then you'll just go through the motions and it'll just life is just gonna happen to you you'll just basically be forced to go along with nature and what happens happens and some things are good and some things are not so good but we need to be above nature and to be above nature means that we are going to make a self analysis on a daily basis and whenever we're asleep like whenever we're just not and we're just sleeping then our mission and our truth like we don't even know it like we're not even aware that we need to look for help but whenever we begin to wake up <laughs> like I had such a hard time doing this morning when we begin to wake up and we try to decide that what we're gonna do is we're gonna occupy ourselves with the truth and we're in reality what is the right path and that's what we're gonna occupy ourselves with then we will receive divine assistance we will receive help from heaven to accomplish the things that we couldn't do on our own for sure we wouldn't be able to um, to make that difference on our own we have to have the the help from heaven but God's also not gonna just do it for us because then again there's no um, will on our side we have to be participants and we almost have to like it has to be engaged from below for it to be engaged from above so the antidote to our evil inclination the antidote to stuff the antidote to selfishness is going to be for us to search for the truth and to really listen to what the Creator wants to tell us and so I I want to bless you guys to break that routine connect with your true self and then whenever you do that <laughs> you're gonna connect with the Creator and you're gonna really see what that painting looks like